hello friends welcome to our channel so if you are new to this channel so please subscribe the channel also click on the bell icon so that so once I upload the new video you will be getting the uh, notification so friends uh, in this video we are going to discuss about uh, some more MCQ questions in Java array based and this is our part 2 video already in part 1 video we have discussed some MCQ questions based on arrays so now this is a continuation of that video so we'll look at our first question actually it is based on the command line argument so already we know that the main method will come with a array of string type argument so nothing but our command line argument so whenever i am trying to run the code or whenever i am trying to run my java program if i want to pass any input through command line then this argument will be come to the picture so now let us assume this code i i have a class my class just assume that i'm going to execute this java program i'm going to execute this java program by using java my class and also i'm going to pass two input you can see i'm separating my input by white space i'm passing two input one is input one i mean string one and second input is two so now these two inputs will get saved inside this command line argument. So arg of 0 will be 1, arg of 2 will be 2 and it's an array type. And in this code I am trying to access arg v of 2. But how many inputs I am pausing? I am pausing 2 inputs and already we are familiar that array index will be starting from 0. So finally, the argument of 0 will be 1, argument of 1 will be 2, but I am trying to access argument of 2. If you look at this code a little more depthly, I am trying to access some invalid index, but it is not giving the compile time error. It is not giving the compile time error, because during compilation time, Java cannot identify the size of the array. If you remember our part 2 one video, so we have discussed the difference between Java array and the C programming array. Coming to C programming, array is a data type which will take a memory during compilation time itself. But coming to Java, array is, is not a data type, array is an object which will take a memory during runtime. So that's why whenever I'm trying to allocate a memory, sorry, uh, that's why whenever I'm trying to access some out of range index, it is not giving any compile time error. Yes, during compilation time, JVM don't know what is the size of array. During runtime only, JVM will come to know it's a out of range index. Yes, array will take a memory during runtime because it's an object. So finally, during runtime, JVM will come to know that okay, it's a out of range index. Because I have an array with two elements, nothing but index zero and index index one. So finally, because of this arg of two, it will be throwing the runtime error, and the error name is array index out of bounds exception. So hope it's clear friends. So now we'll move the next question. So now coming to this question, maybe we need to concentrate on some calculation part. In our previous video itself, we have discussed what is post increment and what is pre increment in one of the mcq question we have discussed about this one 
so pre increment means first it will get increment and then it will get assign but post increment means i mean after variable if you have a increment nothing but post increment means first it will get assign and then it will be incremented so let's keep that in our mind so now coming to this program i have a ri and i am allocating a ri memory by using new keyword and the size i am specifying is 10 during run time it will initialize sorry it will create my ri with 10 size since i have not initialized any values it is going to take the default value of my ri type nothing but zero as yes, the default value of integer is zero so finally all the 10 elements is going to be zero in the first line so now i need to concentrate on value of array of 5 index and array of 6 index we are seeing this code i am displaying the result of array of 5 and array of 6 so now i need to concentrate on these two values let us see our second line i have a variable int i equal to 5 and here i am initializing my array element in a particular position by using this variable i so already we, we know that the square operator will take the highest priority so now in the square bracket you can see i am trying to increment the i value by using post increment so finally what will happen at first that since it's a post increment at first i will be placed over here which mean array of 5 will come here after that i will become 6 since it's a post increment so at first the assignment will happen so which mean array of 5 after that i will become 6 so which mean one thing is very clear array of 5 value is going to be changed based on the remaining statement but array of 6 value is zero we as here we are changing the value of array of 5 we as a post increment suppose if it is a pre increment then it is going to change the value of array of 6 but now since it's a post increment array of 5 is going to be changed but array of 6 is zero so this one right now we are sure so finally array of 6 will be zero so now i need to identify what will be the value of array of 5 now let us calculate the values bias of i plus plus i will be placed here it will be a array of 5 but after that the value of i will be 6 now we'll calculate this part so here again post increment i plus plus so finally 6 will be placed here after that i will become seven 6 will be placed here after that i will become 7 so now again i plus plus again post increment so 7 will be placed here after that i will become 8 7 will be placed here after that i will become 8 so finally what will be the value of array of 5 so that is 6 plus 7 nothing but that so finally option a is the right answer so hope it's clear friends so now we'll move the next question so now in the next question we are passing an array as a argument to another method so one thing we have to be very clear here so here i am not passing any variable as a argument 
I am passing an object as an argument. Yes, we know that arise or object in Java. I have a main method. In the main method, I have a array small which has three value one two three. So from my main method, I am going to call my method by passing this array object as an argument. So nothing but what is happening here internally. So this object will assign to ARR. So I am repeating again. So in this my method, I am passing array object as an argument. So this value, this array object will assign to this local array ARR. In our previous video, we have discussed what will happen when we are assigning one object content to other object. So when we are assigning one object to another object, I mean one object content, one reference content to another reference, what will happen? We as of assignment operator, both are going to point the same object. The same thing will come to here. Yes, array is the object. So finally here what is happening because of this line this 1 2 3 is getting one more reference or it is getting pointed by one more reference called ARR. Yes 1 2 3 is the object. Yes it's array object. So finally for this 1 2 3 object array object I have two reference one is ARR another one is small. So which means small and ARR both reference are pointing the same object now we'll come to this method my method in my method what i am doing i'm changing the value of array of zero so initially the array of zero is zero now i am changing the value of array of zero as 10 so which means what it will get reflect on small also yes both reference are pointing the same object single object to different reference so which means if i modify something by using arr reference that will get reflect in my small reference also yes both are pointing the same object so now i hope easily you can predict the output so now i am trying to display the value of small of zero earlier it was one but now because of this assignment it become 10 so finally for this particular code output will be 10 option c is the correct answer so hope it's clear friends so now we'll go to the next question I think this is the same question so which we have uh, discussed in the previous one so the 13 0 is the answer I think it's a repeated question okay friends uh, so thanks for watching this video so friends if you are if you like this video so please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that you will be getting the notification as soon as I upload the new video. Also, you can share it with your friends. So in our next video, so we will be discussing about uh, some MCQ questions in Java inheritance.